This video is brought to you by the Sweat Elite Coaching Academy, Sweat Elite's coaching arm that has been operating since February 2023 with almost 100 members now spread out all over the world. A common question we're asked is, is there a standard to join the Sweat Elite Coaching Academy? All you need is a willingness to learn and a desire to improve. Sweat Elite Coaching Academy membership includes a hyper-personalized training plan, access to the community via Discord where there's conversations going on every day about racing and training, and you also get access to a high level physiotherapist in case you need any help with physical performance. Join the Sweat Elite Coaching Academy today by checking out sweatelitecoaching.com. You can find the link in the description of this video. This video is also brought to you by Pillar Performance, and there's a reason why so many of the world's best triathletes and runners and cyclists are taking triple magnesium by Pillar Performance before bed to improve their sleep quality and ultimately their recovery. I'm not a huge supplement person. I'm open to trying more or less anything, but most things just don't stick. I don't find a lot of benefit in most supplements, but triple magnesium by Pillar Performance has been a game changer for my sleep, and I know that so many others have found the same benefit with triple magnesium by Pillar Performance. I travel around the world, change beds, change time zones all the time, and I'm noticing that I'm falling asleep faster and staying asleep longer by using triple magnesium by Pillar Performance before bed. You can give it a try by using the code SWEAT15, and you can score 15% off your first order and score a free micro shaker as well. Yeah. I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah. I I've had big time speed in the past. I'm just trying to get it back. Yeah, yeah. You never know what's going to happen going in. Yeah, yeah. The athlete special, Spencer Brown, good to see you. How's it going? Good, how about you? <laughs> good, yeah guys. How's the warm up? Two, two mile warm up in yeah. the books. Uh, nice. Super excited to be on Sweat Elite. Yeah, super Probably. excited to have you on man. You are like one of the original, <laughs> you must be one of the first guys that started a YouTube channel and running that has really got a pretty big following. I think yeah. so, I think so. We've stoked to be here. Kind of just the same videos for the last seven years, but yeah. apparently you guys like them, so. Dude, I love the Mario half <laughs> marathon though. That was really good. Thank you. I, <laughs> my, a lot of my audience didn't like the, the joking type video, so oh. we're here, we're gonna do a more serious workout oh, today. You don't make running interesting. I mean, come on, it's hard to make this sport interesting. Hey, that's yeah, that's yeah. the thing, I'm trying, I, we're, we're trying to branch out here, but guys, don't yeah. worry, I'm still serious. I'm still taking this <laughs> serious. Uh, but yeah, the you Mario thing was fun. In the warm up, yeah, cool. <laughs> So we're like just at the start of the season, track season. Uh, what's coming up for you? So next, I'm doing uh, next couple of months. I've raced. Uh, I kind of got my feet wet in an eight and a fifteen so far. Yep. No flashy times or anything yet, but I'm kind of training right now in a more long-term way, so it's sustainable. So I don't just burn out. The last two or three years, I've just kind of burned out at the end of June. So my goal is to make it through the whole summer have some cool races uh, potentially in Europe, but quickly on the docket for next week is an 800 at Portland Track Festival. Um, nice. I'd like to dip under 150, that'd be cool. So today we're doing an eight specific workout. Um, it's, fast to, fa yeah. it's a fast one. It's, yeah. it's actually, shout out to my college coach, Bonzi. Uh, I'm stealing one of his workouts, a famous one from Georgetown. It's, it's actually called two by two, four, two. Yeah. So, we got 90 rest within the set, okay. and then full rest, so seven minute rest after uh, the first set. Oh, this is vomit, potential vomit zone. It is, it this is. is. Lactate. You're gonna, yeah. <laughs> it's like nice. the opposite of like threshold. It's like yeah. pretty <laughs> much. Very much the opposite, yeah, yeah. So, so 200, 400, 200, twice. Twice. Yeah, 90 um, seconds between and seven minutes. And it, look, it sounds like it's not that hard, but this is probably one of the hardest workouts we do. Yeah. Um, we're gonna try to run, I don't know where my speed's at, and that's kind of why I need to do this workout to, to get that really aggressive, fast stuff back. Yeah. So, first set's gonna be around, hopefully 27.5, 55, and then another 27.5. And then second set, we'll just see where we're at. Yeah. See if we can go any faster. If not, then try to hold it together. But okay. the goal is kind of to get ourselves to rig, um, just to push through, yeah. uh, feel that like, just tough pain. Um, so it's, it's almost gonna be like a race field in the end. It'll okay. be it'll be fun to watch. Hopefully we can get Matt to keep up on the bike. It's <laughs> a kind of crappy bike. It's not easy. I'll tell you what, the acceleration part, I'm gonna have to have a flying start for sure. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've already been told off for uh, for cycling on the track, so we'll do our best to get around the uh, the, the security here, which is, a, which is a lady doing walking <laughs> laps around the track. It's a, it's a situation where <laughs> no one cares except for the one, <laughs> one person, person, but exactly. yeah, it's... Exactly. 
should be fine if we're willing to get a little yelled at. But so one thing we have mutually in common is that we both work with HVMN, which is uh, one of the brands that sponsor you. They sponsor us. Very interesting product. A little. Some people are a little bit skeptical about this because I think it's new. We keep raving about it, but I think, as you mentioned to me off air, it's grow. This industry is growing really quickly because it's. Um, I think it's a little bit misunderstood. But what uh, what have you found interesting with the ketone IQ supplement? Yeah, I feel like it's everywhere right now. Like, there's quite a few athletes who, and YouTube channels who are like, you know, have a partnership with them. Yeah. But uh, I, I personally really do like the product I, I actually use it you know you guys don't have to be skeptical I'm, yeah. this is not for my youtube channel i'm still i'm taking this right now yeah. i take it uh i take one shot before and then one shot after i work out usually and for me it's it just makes me feel more clear-headed uh, and focused yeah. for for like big time sessions That's exactly the right. taste you can say what you want about the taste it actually has grown on me i don't know about you like i used to think it was disgusting to be quite honest but I don't mind it anymore. Yeah, I get used to it. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. But you were mentioning off air before that you tend to find it more beneficial in the longer stuff because For it's sure. more of a it's a fat, you know it's activating the ketones in the in the brain, which is probably a little bit more beneficial for sort of longer sustained efforts. Yeah. But um, it's still going to mentally help you feel probably more ready for a workout like this. Yeah, and, yeah. and like we were even talking about it earlier. Like sometimes before I work out. I don't really eat well because I'm a little nervous. This does seem like it helps settle my stomach before yeah. workouts, so I don't feel that like kind of nauseous, hungry, burping type deal. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's 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 the classic. They say dual fueling. You get you can have your carbs, you can have your ketones. Again, I don't think it's going to be crazy like beneficial for like a ripper of a session, but um, it's 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 a phenomenal product and and like I think that. I think it's going to really blow up in the next couple months or years, if you know not been, already. You know, it's been used by cycling teams for years. Yeah. Like, like Tour de France level, yeah, like really high level teams. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I sort of recently learned and um, it seems like running is kind of late to the game. Yeah. With, 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 with everything. In general. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, cool. yeah, no, I think we're both big fans of HVMN yep. um, and obviously you can, you can, I think right now you can go to Sprouts it's and get sprouts. a free shot. Yeah. So try it for yourself. I'm not trying to, we're not trying to jam this thing down your throat, but yeah. if you want it, give it a shot. If you don't like it, then you don't have to have it. Yeah, for sure. So back to the training. So you mentioned before, I'm curious to know, you might've mentioned this in a YouTube clip, but for those that haven't seen it, you mentioned that you've burnt out in a few um, seasons before, like towards the end of June. What have you done differently this year to avoid that? <laughs> well, is it less lactate work, less speed work earlier on, or how do you, how have you tried it's, to avoid it's, it's so honestly, that you can be du durable for, through the whole year? It's, it's just been less intensity pretty much in every aspect yeah. um, for the full year. And like, I just, this year to me is like the first year I'm actually looking at the bigger picture. Every year I'm always going in. It's, it's different. When you're like out of college, you're not a, I'm not like an official pro athlete. I'm not sponsored by a team. Um, you kind of just are like always looking for like I just I want to run a fast time that's that's all it is but like in order for me to be able to get down to being able to get back to sub 340 shape and run 336 335 which I'd love to ultimately do I need to actually have a season in a, in a full year where I don't just have this like six week plan or like you know two month plan where I get really fit really quick have a few races and then like by the time I've been racing for two months. I'm super burned out, super tired. That's that's happened the last two years. Um, I'm also coming off of like, this is my fourth coaching change in four years. I had my college coach, yeah. then Danny Mackey, then my dad, now Ari. So like, there's just been a lot of change and, and it, it's, I'm finally at that point where it's like, I need to just be consistent in training for a long period of time, find what works for me. Um, so yeah, we have been doing more lactate work and people hate seeing me run 530 mile repeats because they say it does nothing for you. Uh, I think it does though. I, I, I think people see a couple poor results and immediately jump on you like, go back to your dad's training or go back to your college coach training. But like, you guys have to, <laughs> you, like you gotta trust, you gotta <laughs> yeah, trust yeah, me yeah. here. Like it's, it's yeah. gonna take a while. Yeah. And uh, you know, you, you just, for those people, you know, there, tell, no, tell them what you want to tell them, man. This there's is, not uh, no so, no yeah. one. I feel like 
The reason that the running, uh, or the professional running scene and, and just running in general as a sport isn't that big is because no one wants to do what I do and like show my whole training, show the, the pros and the cons because whenever you have, when it's not going well, everyone just shits on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, it's like, I, it's no one, like the best runners also struggle in training. Oh and yeah. Have, you yeah. know, have bad ones, have good ones. And like, no, no one focuses in on them because they don't yeah, want the attention on yeah, themselves. Yeah. Um, so. Respect That's, to you, man, for putting it all out there. And, and, and I'm not even trying I'm, to, I'm not trying to like, be like, oh, I'm the only one who posts, I'm the man. I don't think so at yeah, all, no, no. but I just want to show you guys the insight of like, kind of that Strug Pro lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like, there's always going to be like the couple like, backseat coaches in the comments. Um, but for the most part, it's such a cool, awesome community. Um, and like, I love the people who are just kind of along for the ride and want to want to see the success which it'll happen i i can guarantee you guys we will get there <laughs> yeah. you just got to be patient with me yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely man so in a workout like this what are your what's your favorite gear what are you wear, like you're wearing nike is it pegasus or what, uh, are, the, what so are those on your feet i've, yeah, I've got nike. the structures on right structures, now right, yep, yep. i also wear the hoka rahi yeah um I, I wore the brook shoes a lot i used to wear the adrenalines and they're pretty solid i don't know what i'm gonna wear today this is the victory Oh, nice. um, okay. They're probably fresher yeah. than this is what the dragonfly. Yeah, yeah. I probably will just wear the dragonfly though, because these shoes kind of I trip over them a lot. They're they're kind of weird feeling. Okay. Um, maybe I'll switch into these for the second set if yeah. I feel like it. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm a Nike guy at heart. Yeah. It's just kind of just in my opinion the best gear and stuff. But yeah. I, at the same time, I'm sure. All of the shoe technology is caught up with Nike at this point, so you can yeah. kind of go with whatever you feel yeah. comfortable. It's, the shoes aren't going to have an impact today. No, no, no. All right, man, I won't uh, keep bothering you in the warm-up, but we'll uh, get to filming this workout. I'm going to start warming up myself for these, uh, yeah, these 50s. I, <laughs> really I got to go to the course. bathroom. I'm getting nervous yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, sounds good. Do you get nervous for workouts like this? I, yeah. I definitely used Absolutely. to get nervous for workouts like Absolutely. this, the lactic stuff. Yeah. I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah. I, I've had big time speed in the past. I'm just trying to get it back. Yeah, yeah. You never know what's going to happen going in. Yeah, yeah. So, this first 200 will tell us a little bit of information. Yeah, sure. What do you hope to hit in the two? 27. 27, 27 something. Yep, it's a yep. little slower, fast. I can adjust. Okay. But wouldn't mind being a bit quick. Yep. We'll see, though. Okay. Last question before you start. In the 90 seconds, will you jog or just walk around? I will walk around and just start in the same yeah, spot over there. Okay, cool. Sweet. Nice. I swear, the wind picked up right as we started. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was this wet? 26.99. Nice. So, decent, we'll take it. Yeah, yeah. That would probably be a pretty perfect opening. Actually, maybe slightly slow. First slow. 200 for the 800, that is, yeah. Five seven, so nice in the range. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, brutal. Fifty-one eight hundred pace. That's good going. Yeah, these things are tough solo as well. Brutal. These these sorts of these. I mean, anything's kind of a little harder solo, but I feel like this particular workout's tough. Yeah. Alone, so good going. So two hundred, then we got a longer break. Yeah. How's the wind? Better. 
on like coming around for the last 200. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll probably switch sides. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna switch into these better spots. Yeah. These other shoes just feel weird. So these are the Victories, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Do they have a, might be a stupid question, I'm a little bit unfamiliar with spikes, but do they have a plate? I believe so. Yeah, okay. Nice. And before this, um, are you going to this workout relatively fresh? What was the last hard thing you did before this? Did a solid session on Monday. Okay, so that's uh, three day days ago now. Yeah. Just took an extra day because four days of travel. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But Monday did a four. I'll jog a lap right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I'll jog you. Do a reverse lap. Did a four mile tempo. 1948. Yeah. So fast nice. for yeah, me. That's really good. Yeah. Had some 200s after. Yeah. All right, we're shirts off now, so things are getting serious. Definitely. So we've got the second set halfway through. Pretty short set. I mean, this whole workout's like only a mile, but it's obviously all super quick around that 800, 1500 pace. Yeah. Do you reckon you can hold the same paces in this next set? I'd love to be able to hold the same. I'll do my best. But yeah. I'm going to save nothing for the last 200. Okay. Okay. Second set. Yep. So that's Two minutes between. One. Okay. So you got one more minute. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done a lot at this pace in the last couple of months? A little. This yep. is like it right though. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. we're starting to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Now at the 600 mark of the 800. Gotta that was, love that feeling. How was that one? Good. Yeah. 54 8. Oh, nice. Nice. That's good. That's sub 150 pace. It's, that's like right on your PV pace. 149 1? 2. Yeah, 2. Yep. Enjoy <laughs> this rig right here, folks. It's gonna be fun to watch. I think it'll be a good effort if you get 28 here. Yeah. I mean, 27 ideally, but. Uh, This right here? Yeah, yeah. I'm a cameraman, guys. That's what the workout's all about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo! Good effort. Uh, <laughs> will you be the first person to vomit on a sweaty YouTube video? We will see. I hope not. But that was good effort, man. I think you. Uh, I think you pretty much held pretty close to the goal paces there. So. Yeah. I was good happy time. with it. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> And so how many days you got till the next race? One week. One week. Okay. Yeah. Or whenever the third is. Yeah. It's Friday today. Yeah. Oh. But that's just there's not much more I can do yeah. alone. Yeah. In this situation. Uh that was solid though. Yeah, yeah. Uh to get the second four to be faster than the first. Yep. Full second. Yeah. I was like I want to say 26 flat through the two of the last four, and then naturally tied up a little bit. Yeah. Really enjoyed using these shoes. Okay. Also, you can't see the swoosh. Yeah. So I wore these. <laughs> when I was on Brooks. We had to like blur out the swoosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which they're not. It wasn't a secret. Like everyone knew. Yeah, so. yeah. I think there was a phase there when a lot of. Uh, 
a lot of non uh, non Nike athletes were, were doing that. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for having me at the workout, man. Appreciate it. Good stuff. Good yes, effort. thank you, Matt, for having yeah. me. Oh, folks, <laughs> we gotta go because my legs are killing me. <laughs> All right, let's go cool down.